Thank you, News Nation, for covering this. Oh, my goodness. I hope that this is accurate. I hope that this isn't just like another lead that doesn't lead to justice. But I really, truly hope that this comes through for this family to have closure. Oh, my gosh. Who doesn't remember Madame McCann's story? Horrifying story of when some... Families trusted the neighborhood to go outside and leave their babies inside to sleep to just go, you know, I don't know, a few hundred feet away to have dinner. And this child was kidnapped. In case you're somebody that's not familiar with this story, they were on vacation in a beautiful, beautiful area. And, you know, they'll never live it down that they left their child alone in a, in a condo or whatever. And in an upper level, mind you. And they just went like a block or two away or whatever. It wasn't but just a few hundred feet away where they were having dinner. And they took turns every so many minutes to go and check on the children, you know, while they're doing their couple hours out or whatever at dinner. And she was kidnapped. And so they have a link. They have a link, email link to Christian Bruckner, who's currently standing trial for another matter in another country. And he has child abuse, a bunch of emails he, he deleted in 2007. Yes, they can go back that far to, to determine what was deleted back that far. Okay, almost 20 years ago, right? 17 years it's been. So, allegedly, this guy is linked to her disappearance. He's currently on trial in another country. So, yet, this is the Germans again in this case. There was somebody else. I think they kind of did the similar thing here. But, basically, they're saying there was, there was a Hotmail account that links him to Madeline McCann. But they won't reveal exactly how. Other than they're saying that he had a whole bunch of child abuse videos and evidence and pictures of abuse of children that he deleted in 2007 at the time that she went missing and he lived in the area. He is currently standing trial for sex crimes in the country. And so, not sure, sometimes... You know, just because they're not pressing charges doesn't mean they may actually have something to take a case to trial. Having something that points the finger at somebody and may be evidence that they are, in fact, linked is not the same thing as having enough to take them to trial. But I don't think, so I don't really know German authorities and how they operate, but I don't think that they would come out and make claims without something at least sufficiently valid. But there, there are networks of abusers who operate together. They share pictures of abusive children to each other, so there could be multiple people involved. But whatever, this is... This is new. This is somebody named Christian Bruckner. They've been saying this for a while now. I think it's been, what, four years? But they're just, you know, this is just like a recent story that they're claiming that there's emails. But people are getting frustrated with them because they won't give the exact evidence. But when there's investigations going on, they're not going to say exactly what they have. I mean, that's pretty typical. You know, but, you know, I just hope that at least at the very least, the refreshing of this story in the case so people will continue to pray and help them get closer to bringing justice to at the very least give closure to this family, you know, this nightmare. But anyways, that's it on this one on the Madeline McCann tragedy.